Jessie B Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one's for the 30 days of sketches. Here is the sketch by Isabella Avardo and IQ challenge. And here is the list of uh, things that we are doing. So one thing we need is metal. That was day six. And so I have these little metal um, pieces here that I wanna use. And in this one here, there is triangles. And that was day seven, was to add triangles. So I have those. Day one was the sketch that we are gonna do. We we're supposed to use that sketch. So I have that. And then we're supposed to use um, seven of one embellishment. So I'm gonna use those stickers and it can't be flowers. And then the color orange. So I wanna stamp this butterfly in orange and use these orange hearts sequins. Um, they're so tiny and so cute. And then um, use colored card stock. So I'm gonna use that. And then flower smacking. So I'm going to fussy cut some flowers. And then I'm going to use these three pictures here of my cat playing on an old tarp. So let's get going. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out which picture I want as my big main picture. And I don't have it in the landscape uh, for a four by six, so I'm just going to make it a four by four, which works really good since I'm working on a smaller canvas. And then the other two I want to cut down. This one here I'm cutting down into a two by two square because it's taken a little bit further away. And then the other one I'm going to cut it down into a three by three square because I didn't want to lose the whole point of this, these pictures. These pictures were of my cat playing on this uh, tarp. He was like checking it out. We had just moved um, some stuff off the tarp and we're getting ready to pull up the tarp. And there was like flowers and stuff growing, wildflowers growing around the tarp. And so it looked to me exactly like a pond. So it looks like my cat is playing in a beautiful blue pond out and you know but it wasn't it was just a tarp with um some I don't know they're actually probably a weed but they looked it looked pretty so I'm backing it on the colored cardstock and I decided to use the blue to bring out the uh, blue in the tarp and um yeah I think that that looks that looks really cute and then um, I am going to, yeah, cut all these down so you just see a little bit of the blue. And while I'm doing that, I want to remind you this is two different hops, um, IQ Challenge and 30 Days of Sketches. So I'll have both of the list in the description box down below. Some, a lot of them are um, going to be the same people, but um, yeah. Not all of them, so make sure you check everyone out, out that is playing. And uh, it's, yeah, so much fun. Both both these um, hops have been so much fun. Okay, so I've decided I need a pattern paper background. And so I'm going to use this beautiful blue with white polka dots. And the other side is this gorgeous florals and I thought about using it but then I just changed my mind and um, I'm going to cut this white paper down to be the in the sketch it has like a uh, central square so that's going to be my square I'm going to have pictures on it it has a really pretty um, like a scallopy edge on it and some like strips of paper that frame in this um, white paper. And so I thought about using the um, cardstock and then decided no. So I'm using the other side of the um, blue polka dot paper and um, I'm going to just have it at the top and the bottom and have that a little tiny bit of floral showing and I like that a lot but the first thing I'm going to do is stamp 
a scallop border on the edge. So I'm using one of my, um, it's a border stamps uh, set that I got. It has a whole bunch of different uh, stamps that are in lines. I got it because I wanted it to kind of look like stitching on some things. This one doesn't have a whole lot of stitching um, stamps on it. I think it has a, maybe one. But it does have a whole bunch of just other border stamps that I think are really pretty. So um, I'm doing the scallop edge here and then I will cut out um, the, cut, the scallop um, when I'm done. But I do that off camera so you don't have to watch. But I think it just gives it a really cute little um, decorative bit on the edge. So then I decided that I didn't want it just to go straight into um, the floral bit. So it has this like a little line on it on the stamp. And so I'm just filling that little line in with some orange pin here. Because I'm going to have orange stamping on the layout. So I figured this is a good way to bring in that color and more than just the stamping. So I just add that little tiny bit of orange. I'm really liking how that's looking. I, uh, sorry about the noise. <laughs> I um, get it all trimmed down and I'm liking this so far. I fussy cut a whole bunch of the flowers out of that paper and did that off camera so you didn't have to watch. And now I'm just going to get this um, matte um, glue down and then the pictures adhere down to that because I know where they're going and I know that they're not going to move and then I'm going to figure out how I want to put these flowers in and I just cut the flowers that were on the edge of the paper for the most part and because that worked perfect for them coming in off the edge of the layout. I'm going to pop up just the flowers that are on top. So on this side here, I'm popping up the big cluster. It is goes, it's going to go off the edge, but that little flower is going to stay adhered down. And on the other side, the big cluster is going to be adhered flat, the one that's coming off the edge. And then this little uh, flower cluster is going to go right over top of it because it is the full flower. and um, it gives it just a little bit more dimension and I really like that. And then I just add some more of the leaves that um, were on there that didn't have any flowers attached and I'm just bringing them up around the pictures to fill out the um, clusters a little bit and then I'll hear those down off camera. Okay, so everything's all glued down now. And so now I'm just going to trim up the edges that um, are hanging over. And I think those flower clusters turned out so pretty. I really, really like them. Now I'm coming in with my seven of something. So here's my seven embellishments. I'm going to put seven hearts on the layout here. And, uh, there, this is where I'm going to veer from the sketch. So pretty much the sketch would have been done except for a title. And now I'm going to add in all the bits and pieces for the um, Craft IQ Challenge. So I added seven of the puffy hearts. And now I'm going to add in, oh, uh, I think I do about three, two to three of these orange hearts per uh, cluster of the puffy hearts and so they are a tinier heart and they're really pretty orange and they are the tiniest little sequins you can imagine these are actually nail art sequins that I picked up at the dollar store probably five years ago and I've never used them so I'm like oh these will be perfect so they were my little bit of orange and then so now I have two bits of orange, the top and bottom stri stripe, and then the little clusters each have orange um, hearts. 
And here's where I'm adding in those triangles. Now these are also nail art. Um, Bob, Bobbity, Doob Dad's things. <laughs> I got these from Amazon in a huge, huge um, order. It was like, I don't know, I think there's eight or ten of those little pack uh, containers that came in the package. And it was not very much. It was like, I don't know, maybe $10. And there's so many fun stuff in these. So I thought I was going to put the little flowers mixed in with um, my bigger flower clusters. But then I changed my mind and I'm only using the triangles. And I'm using the triangles because I need triangle on my layout here. So now I'm going to add in the butterflies. And this is um, because I think butterflies and flowers should always go together. They just look so pretty to me. So um, I'm adding four of them in and in that orange. So there's my third um, source of orange on this layout. And now I'm going to bring in these little tiny um, circle they're gold circles that are made out of metal and they're tiny and in the package i have gold silver circles squares and diamonds but um, i'm just going to go through and pick out the um, gold ones just so that they match the rest of the gold on the layout and i'm only going to do one um, butterfly trail here on camera and then the rest I uh, take out because it is time consuming to pick through and find the little um, gold sequins or circles. So there I'm all done. I got each of the uh, butterflies has a little gold um, butterfly trail. Now I'm counting and making sure I got everything for the craft IQ challenge and I do and so now the last thing I'm going to add is my title. And I didn't leave myself any room really for a title. So I am just going to do X's and O's. And that's going to be my title just because I figured the gold fit and it looks cute. And I do love my kitty cat. So this layout is now complete. I will have lots of uh, close-ups for you because there is a lot of tiny detail that I did on this layout and I love how it turned out. And I hope you like it too. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow with another 30 Days of Sketches. Bye!